Hello, and we are back. We're going to be starting right into the Pan Pan single, seg single Segmented Run, which is basically any percent on Switch by Rip WSB. Take it away. All right, appreciate it. Take it away. All right, appreciate it. Well, uh, good morning or afternoon or evening or whatever it may be at the time of day. Uh, this is Pan Pan. It's going to be a little bit different of a run than what you just saw, which was a awesome Katana Zero run, but uh, I guess we'll just go ahead and hop into it. So timer starts when you select the file, so I'll just do a little countdown and we'll just start doing the thing. So uh, three, two, one, go. So first thing you got to do is you got to crash your own little ship. Um, I like to call it the ice cream cone ship, but yeah, first, uh, first thing you got to do is cause the problem that you have to fix the rest of the game. So no big deal, but this is Pan Pan. It's a little like a puzzle platformer type of thing. Not really platforming, more puzzle, but you're this little creature thing and you crash land on this, uh, big expansive land. And you're going to be trying the rest of the game to kind of find five pieces that'll help fix your ship. Luckily, the, the people that kind of live on this planet or wherever we landed, continent maybe, I don't think this is a out of space, space traveling ship necessarily, but they're pretty cool people. They uh, are like helping you get your, your ship back together. So we got to collect five pieces, five components, and they are scattered out throughout the world and we have to do the puzzles to get to them so a nice little 40 second intro straight into another little cutscene so these are little the people that are helping us out the bearded and mustached wonderful people um these are the little like usb stick or vape thing if you want to call it is a save point but we don't have to save uh there's no risk of dying or anything like that hopefully there's no risk of soft locking if it is it's going to be something new i may have just jinxed that but i think we should be fine I think this game is only for Switch and PC at the moment. I could be mistaken, but it's one of the few games where playing on Switch isn't a detriment to your time. Um, there are no like load times or anything, so I, I find it actually easier to play on Switch because you can control your character better and get more optimal lines. Because um, that's really where you're saving time is just like straight lines to everything you need to and. The real trouble is just trying to pick stuff up in this game and put it on the like exact spot you need to, so hopefully this goes decently. Alright, so this is like the big power station section of the game. So we are going to be moving these like power cells right here and grabbing these, I guess, conductors if you want to call them. We'll put those on the little squiggly lines and that will let the power flow through them. So we're just going to kind of do this pretty straightforward puzzle and then we'll use this one that we don't need anymore to hold down this button and then it's just a matter of moving these back and forth to get where we need to go so the puzzles in this game really aren't too bad um i had more trouble like the first playthrough just kind of figuring out where to go uh there's no dialogue or anything so you're just kind of on your own trying to figure stuff out which is kind of nice but oops catch a little bit of a corner no big deal so we're just making our way around, moving these. We'll put this one on a button and then do a, uh, a little puzzle section. Now, the order of where these go um, will be in the next room, but since I've played this more than once, I, I remember the order. So we'll just do this by memory. So going counterclockwise from the bottom left, it's three, two, three, one, two. And that just corresponds to like the little light thingies on the the sides of these whatever you want to call them so we're just going to plug in the corresponding number into the corresponding slot and then that'll free up the little conductor piece in the middle there we'll get a little mini cutscene, and we'll pick this up yeah corners everywhere this is the ultimate enemy in this game is corners and putting stuff in the correct spot so if you can if you can manage that then you can run this game pretty easy um It'd be cool if you could get out of bounds somehow and skip having to do all these five components of the ship. But as it is, it's still a pretty quick game. So now that we have our three conductors that we need to turn on this little robot 
we are going to put those on the spots. We're going to keep the one on the button there because we need to keep this door open. And in the meantime, we'll just go pick up the power source. Bada bing, bada boom. And then hopefully put this on the correct square. It's a little bit finicky if you... Uh, Pan Pan will drop this like just adjacent to where you need to put it. And it can be a little frustrating trying to line that up. But other than that, there's really no... Uh, I guess... Um, areas of pain to deal with. Like no enemies to worry about. There is a little bit of RNG later on in the game, but it's not too bad. But it's kind of what separates a really good run from just a, a decent run. So we'll use this power cell to turn on this and get the bridge to... Yep, do the bridge thing. And we'll be taking this power cell all the way back to the, the crash site, basically. And this will be one of the five components. Now that we've kind of used it to get through the puzzles we need to. So just nice little... It's not really a walk, but a leisure yeah, jog back to the, the crash site. So these little plants, uh, later on, we get a, a stick and we can like knock out fuel cells from the plants. Um, I guess our ship is biofuel powered, but whoops. let's not do that. All right, so that way we have the one power cell in, one of the five components good. So we're going to go into this next area. We're going to bypass this little uh, save because we don't need it. So the next puzzle is pretty straightforward as well. We're going to be moving these five uh, colored and different icon things onto these little uh, switches. Purple up top and then the orange one will be the third. That'll open these two doors. And then we will get our first look at the, the little fuel cells. And right now we don't have any way to store them, so we just open these up and we will take the little fuel straight into the canister. Now this one needs six to turn on and this will power a elevator. So we need those to grow back. We'll get four just in case. And then that should power the elevator. And that will bring up another piece. Eventually. It is a nice little game, it's just chill, relaxing, yet still slightly speedy. So this piece we'll actually use to, yep, get stuck on little things is fine. We will use this to get our uh, our beatdown stick, our fuel collecting stick, whatever you want to do. We do end up hitting somebody with it, so we are slightly violent. So I guess it's not a completely pacifist run, but... Now that robot we turned on earlier is going to come into play right about now. And what you don't see is the cutscene of him. He like rips through all the rock and stuff. So now that we have done that, we're gonna climb back up. We're gonna re-grab our piece. So there's the little robot guy. And piece out of here. And we are gonna pretty much take this back to the main area where you access all the different rooms and puzzles. So we will pass through that power station area walk over this bridge that we used just a little bit ago. Hard right. But yeah, with the PC version, I think you're, you're like clicking on where you want to go. So it's kind of like a point and click to some degree, but uh, not entirely. What you can do in the PC version is place these items on the like intended slots a lot easier and more confidently. So this opens up this little glass case so we can get our, our, our beat down stick. And we will use this to harass the locals and gather fuel cells. So when we have this equipped and run through plants, it just like knocks out the little seed pods. And when you run into them again, they open up and release their fuel that we'll collect later on. So we'll just go ahead and kind of hopefully get some good drops. This is where the RNG comes in because you need certain numbers to open up uh, or fuel different cell containers so we're gonna go ahead and hope for are we not gonna get a single one? Oh, that's awesome okay so that's not a big deal but it, it does kind of suck usually we want to get like one or two from those plants right there 
goes, this guy is going to be nice enough now that we've kind of allowed him to escape his prison. Um, he's going to give us a little canister so we can actually store the seed fuel. So we'll need five to power um, a container coming up. Usually there'll be like one or two fuel cells that we just whack those plants with, but since we didn't, we're probably going to have to go somewhere else to find some more. There are plants on the way, but again, you're running... Oh, come on, give me... All right, so we got two. That's not too bad. Pretty annoying. Usually you would have five like right now, and you won't have to kind of run around and try and find some more. So we need three more. So we got two. All right, so we need one more from this group. Please be nice. Okay, don't be nice. All right, we got these over here. Somebody's got to have a fuel pod, please. You got to be kidding me. All right, so this is where the uh, RNG definitely comes into play. We'll just wait for these plants to regrow. Come on. Okay, there we go. Jeez. So that's not great, but it is what it is. Now we have enough fuel to power this thing. I hope. Okay, they got it. All right, so cannon to five is, is good. This will kind of like turn on this little water uh, aqueduct thing. This will move this piece down so we can actually grab it and use it. Now we'll leave it here for now. Um, we're going to do a separate puzzle. And it really doesn't matter time-wise. It's just kind of what I've gotten used to. So that piece will be used for a different puzzle later on. But for now, we're just going to leave that. I'm going to hit these plants just out of spite because they were rude. Now they drop stuff. That's awesome. All right, so we're going to grab grab this jar and fill it with water. We're going to pre um, get our stick ready, our beat stick. And you can just kind of like play with that when you are holding stuff. So we have that active. So once we drop this water, our stick will like automatically come out. And we're just going to knock over this jar of water. Um, we have really fast acting plants and trees. So this is just going to grow and bloom and drop this big apple looking fruit of course we have to eat the tree first there we go sorry nature but we need this all right this little uh fruit is going to be used in a puzzle coming up so we're just going to grab that sucker yep we're gonna go down the spiral there we go make our way to the next bit so we do uh, kind of harass some wildlife coming up Unfortunately, it's a nice little bird with three eggs that we're going to need to use to hold down some buttons. So he's just taking a nice little nap. We're going to steal his egg, drop that, look at the nice little whack, and then hopefully by the time he kind of regains uh, his senses, we'll have these eggs placed on the buttons, and then we can just step on the last one. Because once you steal an egg, or borrow an egg, I guess, um, he's gonna try and go after it and put it back where it was. Uh, it's the best music of the game, too. Unfortunately, you don't get to hear it a whole lot, but... Now that we made it up, we're just gonna go pick up our fruit, take it back. And this is what we're gonna use to feed... See? There you go. Now he's got all his eggs. He's fine. He can go back to sleep. Alright, so we got our fruit. We're gonna take it and feed this big frog-looking thing. So just drop that there. Yeah, buddy. Get some of that. And once he's uh, eaten up, he's good to go. So peace out, and he's out of the way. So this next bit is a little bit more RNG. We're going to need to pick up one of these. Oh, that was a pretty good timing. Uh, pick up one of these guys. Sometimes they're not like directly in the path that you need them to be. And then once we drop them, we're going to try and scare them. Come on. There you go. He's going to walk on that little button down there, and then that drops these gate bars. And then we have a kind of annoying puzzle coming up it's not always the best to do on a switch because my tokyo drift jo uh, joy cons are kind of wonky sometimes but basically that little uh, bush guy up there mimics your movement so you have to be uh, follow a very particular path if you hit the the little tiles with the circle it resets the whole puzzle and all you have to do is basically just push all the buttons with a the diamond on it so we got through that one without too much trouble that can be kind of annoying sometimes especially trying to go quickly if you clip like a corner of the a tile you're not supposed to then yeah it just 
be prepared to do that all over again. Anyway, he's hiding over here. We know where he's at, so we're just gonna give him a nice little whack on the head. And for our um, our violence, he's gonna reward us with this little jetpack, and this will help us jump over gaps, which is really useful because we have one coming right up. Now you can kind of get to this next area area um, earlier in the game, but you can't get to that piece in the middle without the jetpack. So now that we have the ability, we'll just hop over there, pick up this component of the ship that we'll need, and then this causes a little commotion and it, it drops a boulder. We'll use that to walk out of here, and then we will take this piece back to the crash site, and this will be our second component. So this is the other end of that bridge that we've used a couple times, and this will take us back to the kind of the main area. We'll pick up some of the fuel cells that we dropped earlier, now that we have the container to hold them. And from this point on, we need 15 fuel cells um, total. I don't usually count. I should probably count and make sure I have enough. Usually I just kind of go for it, and if I don't have enough at the end, then kind of the runs over. But uh, it's not the end of the world. You can just collect more like before where I didn't have the good drops. So we got two components now. We're gonna make our way all the way back to the little aqueduct water slide that we dropped that one piece that with a like a eyeball looking icon on it. I'm gonna whack some plants along the way and get some some drops. Not too bad. Uh that should put us up to like eight or nine I think maybe. Um I probably should have whacked those plants, but we'll we'll just kinda go past them. I will whack these, hopefully get one or two. Nope, got nothing. That's fine. So we grab this little eyepiece block and we'll use this in a puzzle coming up. Just gotta make our way back. So yeah, this game is like 80% just walking around. 10% uh, puzzles and like 10% RNG. So we will pick up these fuel cells that we dropped earlier. Oh, there we go. Sometimes walking over them is a bit of a challenge. Drop this piece to turn the bridge. Grab that back up. All right, this next puzzle is kind of weird. When you step on this button, it brings up some little eyes. You gotta go right, you gotta go right, left, and then back right a couple. So there's like the little purple statues and then there's the statues with like the white eye. I think the purple ones, if you walk in front of them, it like doesn't, it resets the puzzle. So you have to choose the correct path. So right, right, and then kind of left and then right to it. It's easier just to see it, but yeah. So these are little eyes, I think. It makes like a little face. You're gonna grab this uh, mouthpiece, I guess, that pops up. Grab it, please, thank you. Um, yeah, that's the other challenge. Uh, you got movement, you got putting stuff on the right spot, and then you have actually picking up stuff. That can be kind of, uh, fun so we have this piece this isn't a component of the ship but we will use it to power a switch coming up so we're just gonna try and beeline it for this part take a little round that bit and then drop it here this will cause the the water in this little pool to dry up and then gives us access to this ladder, or these these ladders, I guess there's two of them. And then up here there will be another ship component that we will ship off, actually. And we'll have to pick it up later on in the game. I guess really there's only four components, and then you have to collect enough fuel for the fifth part. So it's four actual physical things that you have to put in slots and then the fifth one is just the canister full of fuel so we load that little upside down ice cream cone with the handle up top into its own little personalized raft that takes off and we will see that eventually but for now we just make it back to the main area yeah da 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 Climb down these ladders again. Climb up this ladder again. Alright. Make 
way through here. Now there is one more spot to pick up fuel cells. So we're hoping to see quite a few, at least maybe two or three would be nice as uh, some insurance. That little submarine down there is um, pretty much the, besides the fuel cells, like the biggest source of RNG. So we need to do this five times. That turns it the way we need to. Climb back down here, and this way, if you don't hit that button five times, then when you go to move this bridge right here, um, it's not in the correct position and you can't actually cross it. So that moving that little like compass thing moves the bridge to a a spot where you can actually use it. So, oof. I guess I'll go ahead. And do, oh, please hurry! Please hurry! No, I missed it. Okay. So the cycles of the are uh, the submarine are kind of annoying. If you catch it at the right, just the right moment, you have to kind of shoot it out of the water. There's a button up top there on the top right that we just barely saw. So I'm gonna get this over here. I think I can drop this in its slot before that submarine gets back around. If I screw this uh, cycle up, we're gonna lose a little, little bit of time, but I'm gonna go for it. So yeah, coming down to the end of the run is just like balancing the cycles of the, our, uh, the submarine. Which we're gonna get over there in time this time. Go ahead and whack some of these and get... Ooh, that was, that was pretty good. So we got four fuel cells. Hopefully we got um, enough power the container at the end. This will be our last physical piece that we have to put in the kind of the ship graveyard. We'll go ahead and get this, the bridge to come over and then while the time, by, uh, while that's moving, we'll pick up the submarine. So if we put this in the slot and then upload our canister, if we get like a little cutscene, then we know we have oh, enough nice. fuel. And then please work. Sweet, we had enough. All right, so time is coming up soon. We uh, have all our components, everything's good to go. Our ship is repaired. So once we climb up the ladder, climb down into the ship a cutscene will start and that's where time will end so we just gotta climb up a couple more ladders we did our job we did it and that's time that's pan pan got kind of uh hecked by some rng a little bit but uh we did it so just wanted to say thanks to powerhouse marathons for allowing me to run this game um, it's been a couple days of really good runs and we still got some more coming up so stick around and thanks to the restreamers and the hosts and everybody that's been involved in trying to make this run as smoothly as possible online marathons are crazy I finally got my first taste of it this time and it is insane so thanks to everybody and hope you enjoy oh seeps alright thank you for your run of pan pan rip um, so that was RIP WSB with their single segmented run of Pan Pan on the Switch. Up next, we're going to have a uh, game called Gravity Duck. Duck, the all levels also on the Switch by Olvind. I believe I said that right. I'm not exactly sure. Say the name. Um, additionally, I'll be stopping as host for a bit. I'll be back later. And Kuno will be the new host. So yes. <laughs>